Have you ever heard of the Sunday Times Rich List? It's a list of the wealthiest people in the UK. And by wealthy, I mean multi-billionaires. Each year, the count of billionaires has boomed, but it seems like the boom time is over. The rich list has witnessed the first fall in the number of billionaires. This comes while the wealth shared by the big players has climbed up. What is happening to Britain's richy rich? What's the reason for the sudden drop in billionaires? Our next report getting you the complete story. How do you perceive Britain? Do you see it as the empire on which the sun does not set? Well, it seems the sun has set on some of the UK's wealthiest. The Sunday Times Rich List, a list of the wealthiest people in the UK which features King Charles III and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, has some interesting takeaways. The Rich List, which keeps adding more billionaires each year, has dropped some people from the list this time. This is the first fall in billionaires since the financial crisis of 2007-2008. The list has dropped six of the wealthiest from last year and now has 171 people. But on the other hand, the wealth shared by the billionaires has boomed to over $850 billion. That's a rise of over $37 billion from last year. So is the boom in shared wealth a good thing? It might seem so, but it's not. You have to consider Britain's double-digit inflation. If we consider the effect of high inflation on wealth, 2% Levi on United Kingdom opulent list fam could increase and raise £22 billion annually. Activists for tax modification say related taxes in Europe have facilitated to decrease disparity. A humble affluence Levi on the wealthiest 350 families in the United Kingdom could galvanize over £20 billion annually which is adequate to fund the building of 145,000 contemporary reasonable homes a year due to studies by fairer taxation campaigners. A 2% tax on properties over £10 million owned by all affiliates of the Sunday Times Rich List can raise as much as £22 billion, in accordance with the evaluation by Tax Justice UK, the Economic Change Unit and the New Economics Foundation, NEF. The activists lamented that related rich taxes in Norway, Spain and Switzerland had facilitated to minimise disparity and alleviated the cost of living predicament for certain group of the deprived populace in those nations. They appealed to Rishi's administration to embark on crucial reorganization of the, and I quote, fundamental unfairness in the tax system, which means that income from work is taxed more than income from investments, rent and inheritances. Lucas Krebel, economist at NEF Think Tank, said, and I quote, this year's rich list shows that at a time when so many of us are struggling with the cost of living, the very wealthiest in society continue to thrive. Yet this elite group aren't taxed as much as those of us who earn our living, leaving us with less money to invest in hospitals, schools and parks. We can share the wealth that we all create by increasing taxes on the very rich. By doing this, we can repair our public services, power our future with locally made energy from the wind and sun, and create jobs and thriving neighborhoods for all of our families. Flushed out a number of shareholders due to losses. How things shape up from here onwards remains to be seen. Watch this space. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move. Hi. Highly experienced drivers with over 1,000 rides under their belts. A good reason to be confident about yours. Ride surely with you. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family.
Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.